Are you one of those people that believe the system don't care about me? The system don't care about us. I hate to say this, but you might be right. The system may not care about you. Stay tuned and listen to my perspective. My name is Cyrus Asar, and my mission is to embody the emotion of overcoming. I believe we all fight battles we hide from the world. My objective is to help you win those battles through perspective. Stay tuned. Are you one of those people that think, you know, the system doesn't care about me? I hate to say it like that, but it may not care. It really may not care. Because I learned this. Oftentimes, there can be things that's put in place to control something. So I want to put this in place, these rules, to control this. So it doesn't matter whether you go to school and they're going to say, well, we don't want no fighting at the school. We don't want no fighting, so we want to control this. We want people to act accordingly. So that's really how a standard works. So if you look at it and say, the system don't care about me, you have to look at, do your behavior patterns fit this system? Or does your skin color fit the system? Does uh, your upbringing fit the system? It can be a lot of things that go against you fitting within this system. Like, you know, you might come from a background where it is a lot of gang activity and you get involved in that. You might get it come from an active, a background where it's a lot of drug dealing and you might get involved in that. Or whatever it may be, the fact that your skin color and that's it. And so, But you have to look at it from this angle. And this is how you can get around it. Some people are carrying out this systematic thing that's destroying you consciously and unconsciously. Some people are literally just saying, you know what, I'm just doing my job. You will be amazed at how many people are much dumber than you think they are. And this is going to sound crazy coming out my mouth, you know, because I know I'm a speaker and it's supposed to be positive and whatnot. But as I said, I believe is in, in honesty, a lot of people is much dumber than you give them credit for. I mean, much dumber. So they can go along with a system and not fully understand what they're going along with. They're just going along with it to either pay their bills or this is what's hiring. Like you might have a shortage of police officers. So some people is being a cop just because it's an easy entry to get a check. And then they go along with everything that's fed to them to be destructive upon a, a race of people or a, a where some people are living, etc., etc. And you might think, you know, they know what's going on, and some of them do. But some of them truly don't. Some of them are really that stupid. They really don't know that they're a part of something. And sometimes these systems that we can be a part of all the way around the board can be detrimental to people that we're unaware of. And we'll be like, I don't understand why this person is mad at me because it is. Because you didn't feel the ramifications of that decision. So that's how we have feel at the bottom. We've been like, you know, I don't understand how people cannot understand how we're being done. It's because they don't understand because they have never been a part of that. Therefore, they can implement a system that doesn't match what's necessary for you. It's too many times that I've been in meetings with these high-end companies, high-end nonprofits, and you should hear some of their ideas to help the people that's going through the struggle. I mean, it's so disconnected that it's unbelievable. Like the system they will put in place to help people that comes from this environment that need the most help will be so far away from any help that it's unbelievable. And I sit in those meetings and I'm like, are y'all serious? Are you remotely serious about this plan? And they will be so ignorant to it that they think that it will work. So it let me know. I'm like, wait a minute. Some systems are put in place to help people. Some systems is put in place to deliberately hurt people and they won't say it. And some systems is put in place to it subconsciously hurts people like they're not they're fully not aware and I'm not going to speak on specific plans, but I do remember one specifically for homeless. I remember one for uh, suicide prevention. I remember a couple for depression. And I remember listening to these plans and I was like, you have no idea. No idea 
whatsoever the ramifications behind this decision and this system you put in place. This is going to hurt way more than it's going to help. And they truly won't get it. I mean, truly will not get it. And then it hit me. I'm like, at what level, at how many levels do they understand how this affects the people at the bottom? And I was like, man, you can talk to a mayor. You can talk to uh, somebody that's in a, a, a committee. You can talk to some of these people and they will not come. You have somebody that literally grew up with their mom and their dad, come from a good, stable household. I mean, over 100000 a year, their whole life. And this would be the person that put a plan in place for poverty. Seriously. It doesn't matter how much school you get under that circumstance. What real life experience do you have? Some systems is put in place deliberately to eradicate something that's going on. Some things are subconsciously, like sometimes people don't understand it. Sometimes it is somebody's effort to make things better and they just don't understand. How can this be fixed becomes the next question. It depends on what system you in. Sometimes it cannot be fixed. Sometimes you have to move yourself, remove yourself completely. And that's a difficult thing to say, well, whoa, how do I remove my family? Sometimes it is in the physical form you got to remove yourself or you have to switch up your patterns. You have to switch up your patterns because this system is put in place and there ain't nothing you can do about it, essentially. Under certain circumstances, you got to remove yourself. Under certain circumstances, you have to play along with it. I was always told a smart person can play dumb, but a dumb person cannot play smart. So if you're smarter than them, then you can understand how you can manipulate this system that's put in place currently. So obviously it's a ton of variables and I got this topic from a friend and it was really an open discussion, but it's a lot of variables about systems that can help you get around it or through it or get away from it. And then there's certain things you just can't escape. But we have to analyze it individually to see which one applies to us and which ones can we deal with. And then lay out what does that solution look like? Personally, what does it look like? It's a tough thing because as we reflect on a whole lot of things, we look at what we're into. What system are we involved in? The police or um, school system or uh, education, whatever it may be. What system are we in and how is it detrimental and how is it helpful? If your school system is failing you, what can you do at your home to, to learn some things that they're not teaching you? Oftentimes you hear black history isn't taught properly at the um, schools, or this ain't taught properly to math, or this ain't taught properly. Then you got to ask yourself what's being taught at home then. So much you can complain about, but what can you fix personally? It's a lot of systems, as I said, that can get put into place, but we have to evaluate them all individually. And some of them are. I want to be real clear. Some of them are against you. Some of them are there to help you. Some of them there are unconsciously destroying you. But we have to look at them all individually and let, and weigh out these different type of options on how we get through them. Police brutality to school systems, etc., etc. It's not one universal answer for this. And that's why I said I wanted to bring up this because it was a conversation with me and my friend and I just wanted to share it. But there's not one universal answer for it. It's variables that fit each one. So you have to look inwardly on what system is you dealing with, which one is detrimental to you, which one is helpful to you, and learn it. Take the time out to learn it and be a smart person that play dumb. Thank you for checking out this video. Please like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. And are you a part of a system, which I know you are, and how do you feel about what you're into? Is it really damaging you? Is it helpful? Is it harmful? What is it? I love to hear about it. Thank you.